Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. Today we will start a new chapter from chemistry portion of your textbook. Chapter 6 Combustion and Flame You must have heard the story about the discovery of fire by primitive men. It is believed that during the Stone Age, primitive men may have used pieces of flint stones, banged them together and created sparks. Fire is considered one of the most important discoveries of the primitive men. It laid down the foundation of the modern world as it allows for the release of heat and light energy due to burning of a substance. Fire is used for cooking food, for heating water, in fireplace for providing warmth, for smoke signaling, in agriculture for clearing land, in flaming torch for generating light, in fireworks, for making tools and weapons, for protection against wild animals, for making earthenware, and in religious ceremonies. All the above uses of fire are possible because of a process called combustion. Combustion can be defined as an exothermic chemical reaction in which a substance reacts with oxygen to produce heat and light energy. Do you know what happens when you burn a piece of coal? Coal is a fossil fuel. All the fossil fuels contain hydrocarbons, that is, compounds of hydrogen and carbon. When a substance containing hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen, it results in the formation of water and carbon dioxide along with the release of energy in the form of heat and light. In short, combustion is the process of burning of a substance. Burning of coal, burning of paper, burning of wood, burning of a matchstick and Burning of crackers all involve combustion. Let us perform an activity to show the process of burning. In order to perform the activity, you will require a pair of tongs, a piece of paper and a burning candle. To perform the activity, hold the piece of paper with a pair of tongs. Bring it near the burning candle. What happens? Is burning a physical or a chemical change? Is any heat released during burning? You will observe that the paper burns with a flame. It catches fire and burns to produce heat. It also results in the formation of a new substance that is ash. So, we can conclude that burning of paper is a chemical change. Have you ever thought what would happen if we try to burn a piece of iron, dry wood, or glass. Do they all burn? Let's perform an activity to find this out. The aim of the activity is to find out whether all the materials burn. In order to perform the activity, you will require clay, a matchstick, a piece of wood, 
glass, stone, a piece of paper, cloth, coal and magnesium ribbon. Try to burn each material mentioned earlier and observe what happens. In which of the cases combustion takes place? You will observe that combustion does not occur in clay, glass and stone. Whereas combustion occurs in a matchstick, a piece of wood, a piece of paper, cloth, a piece of coal and magnesium ribbon. From this activity, we can conclude that some substances burn or catch fire while others do not burn or catch fire. On this basis, substances can be classified into two categories as combustible substances and non-combustible substances. Substances that burn or catch fire are called combustible substances. Combustible substances may be solid, liquid or gas. Many combustible substances are used as fuel. Examples of combustible substances include wood, paper, diesel, kerosene, petrol, coal. Substances that do not burn at all on being exposed to flame are called non-combustible substances. Glass, stone, sand, clay, steel are some examples of non-combustible substances. That was all for today's class. Thank you.